Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jake Smash. This is going to be a Watch Over Realms video. It is 0645, Wednesday, February the 7th. Just going through doing my normal stuff uh, this morning, knocking out my dailies and everything. And, uh, and I thought, why not use or do a video, excuse me, on uh, all of my speed runs. Show my speed runs off for either folks that are looking to replicate or maybe folks that are approaching endgame and might be thinking about speed runs in the near future or even just, you know, folks that want to have fun, right? So disclaimer, right? These are speed runs, endgame champs, endgame gear, not accessible to everyone. I get that. But if the idea is accessible to you, I hope this helps. And if it's not, I hope you enjoy it and you have some fun watching it. So let's start with Gear Raid 1. Comet goes down first. He's facing north, actually. Boreas is facing west. Um, they ult early right there. Start blowing everything to bits, as they do, right? Silas goes on down on the left. He's facing north. He ults. He takes out the boss. Dolores is there to give Silas extra attack to nuke the boss down quicker. Hollow goes down on the right side for heals and rage regen. Elowen's on the left side for heals and global rage regen. Ajax goes down on the right side again, facing north. He ults when the mob comes into frame to help take them out quicker. Silas finishes off the left side. And now we're just cycling and timing ults to take all of the mobs out as fast as possible, right? Mobs come in. Again, Ajax ults really takes out that right side. Silas is nuking the left side down, and now ulting with Comet and Boreas will uh, take care of these last few, uh, the the mobs with the, the aura damage around them. And that's it, about a minute and, I don't know, three seconds, something like that. And that is Gear Raid 1 done. No, thank you. Let's go to Gear Raid 2. Gear Raid 2. So this isn't a crazy fast like Praetis strat, but with Sadie, you can make it a little bit faster than, you know, the entire run waiting for the boss to Hulk smash at the end. We put Sadie down first, then Brokir, then Silas. Silas is the nuke. Brokir, when he ults, he provides extra tank stats. Sadie ults to reduce damage prior to the Shriek. Gwendolyn on the right side, she ults prior to the smashes here. Everyone survives the first one just fine. For the next series of smashes, I noticed like Elowen was dying. So Gwendolyn and Vortex and Gwendolyn, Vortex, Brokir, and Regulus all ult before the smashes start. And I think that the shields from Vortex and Gwendolyn are stacking. I haven't been able to test it properly yet, but Elowen was dying with just Gwendolyn ulting. And then when I started ulting with Vortex at the same time, she lived just fine. So um Sadie ult for the Shriek. Everyone else ult for the smashes. I just pulled Sadie and dropped Dolores in a Tumultuous Horn to give Silas extra attack so that he can nuke the boss and, and kill it as soon as he starts to walk through. And that's the run. So that's like a full, I don't know, 30 seconds faster than waiting until the boss walks all the way down, um, switches to his red phase, Hulk smashes everything, wait until that's gone, and then and then kill him afterwards. That makes a big difference if you can survive everything with Sadie and nuke him down fast. Gear rate three. Eadril goes down on the right side, middle right, Silas middle left. They both take out these first few mobs, no problem. Alora goes on the far right. Her, you know, perma invisibility, unless she's ulting, is fantastic. Right side's piece of cake for her. Boss comes into frame. Eadril and Silas ult take out the boss. Elowen goes down for rage, but she's completely unnecessary at this point. That was just a holdover from previous run. Nyx goes down on the left side with Dolores. Alora's still taking out the right side. Nyx doesn't need Dolores, but with the attack boost for the final wave, that lets Nyx kill the final wave a little bit faster so that he, so that the final left wave is completely gone before the final top right wave comes into frame so that Eadril can fully focus on the top right. 
Silas goes down on the right. Idril ults just before that monster comes into frame, kills it before it has a chance to attack Silas. Silas builds his ult. He starts it. Oh, that last monster took two hits. Normally it only takes one. And, you know, the run finishes, uh, you know, a fraction of a second faster. So, oh, well, you get the idea. Ooh, and I got ooh, a quad sub. Yeah, nice. Oh, man, I might just roll that for the video. That is that is too good. Hold on, little bear. Let's get rid of this, though. I'll roll that, too. Very nice. Okay. And then for AMR. This one's pretty fast. I've got it set up right now to where it, it might win, it might lose. I was I was explaining a concept, but we'll see what it does. We'll adjust as necessary. It won. I'll play it again. I'll explain it. So hold on, little bear. Um, uh, sorry, my toddler came in. Um, so very quickly. Salazar goes down, Dolores goes down to give Salazar Invigoration Boost, Zilla 2 goes down facing north, they all, old Aatrox gives Zilla 2 Invigoration Boost, um, Twin Fiend is in the team for extra stats for Zilla 2 and Dolores, and Venoma is on the team for extra rage for Salazar so that he can ult before uh, the boss makes it to the portal. And that is the run. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you got something out of it. If you did, please support the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, share it with your friends. Thank you so much for your time. I will see you in the next one. I'm back. I forgot to roll that awesome ancient infernal roar piece. Let's do that really quick. Let's go to gear. Let's see here. There we go. So there were, I got this one. This one might be good. Uh, that is not as good as I was hoping, but it's just prior to that purple range. If crit rate is good, it, it can be useful. That sucks. All right. Well, now for the main attraction, let's go to that Infernal Rage piece. Nice quad sub. Pulled it in a single run while recording. Please be good. That's not perfect. Could be better, but could be way worse. It's it's an attack bonus main with uh, four DPS subs. That is that is fantastic. Thank you so much for your time. See you next time.